I just love how adding one or two pieces really transforms an outfit from frumpy to totally trendy. Hey friends, it's Angela. So good to see you again today. We are talking about the biggest fashion mistake that's making us all look frumpy in our 50s and beyond. Although actually, this is making anybody look frumpy at any age. The mistake is no definition at the waistline. So let's take a look at a few examples and more importantly, how we can fix these examples in a simple way that doesn't have us going out and spending a lot of money on a brand new wardrobe. So first let's talk about dresses and how they can make us look totally frumpy, but how we can turn that into making them look trendy. Our first example is a shift dress. To me, they're cute, but they give us no shape whatsoever at the waistline. The first idea, easy peasy, let's just throw on a belt. And voila, already you took the frump factor right out of the equation. This, in my opinion, looks much better, but you know what? Let's kick this up a couple more notches, shall we? So look at how, with just adding two pieces, I went from looking frumpy to, all right, you're looking a little bit better, to, all right, now you're looking trendy. Now here's another cute sundress for summertime, right? But you take it from the hanger and you actually put it on your body, I'm looking a little frumpy in it, okay? Because it's just got so much room at the waistline, at the hip area. I don't wanna look frumpy. I wanna change this from frumpy to trendy. All right, step one, we're just gonna be adding a belt, my friends. Let's see how much that changes up the look. And then we add a jean jacket and I just love this look. We just took a frumpy looking dress and made it into really trendy looking. If you haven't been watching my channel, you do not know yet that I am a jean jacket lover. I just feel like they go with so much and they can really make a dress or a pant outfit look casual, but even more trendy. I hear ya, not all of you are jean jacket lovers, I get it. <laughs> so we're gonna try a cardigan. Let's see how that looks with this dress. Now you can wear this cardigan a couple of different ways. You can tie it at the waist here like I have it now, or tie it right under your bust line. If you wanna kinda hide that tummy area a little bit, but accentuate the waist up a little higher, that's how you do it. And then it gives us a totally different look, but still looking trendy. Okay, now this next dress is really pretty, but it's gonna be a challenge, okay? <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say is it's gonna be a challenge to get this not to look frumpy. It's got this hemline right underneath the bust area. That's gonna make it a little bit more of a challenge because that might eliminate the belt factor, but we're gonna experiment and we're gonna find out. So yeah, this is a perfect example of how a belt's not gonna do it this time. So let's play with it. Let's see if we can find a solution for when you got a higher hemline like this. Bingo, totally better. I put on the lightweight cardigan with this and I'm able to tie it at the waistline. So now it really doesn't matter and you get a much better look. We went from frumpy to we're looking trendy. Now, if you had a white jean jacket, that would even do the trick. It wouldn't be as tight as putting the cardigan around your waist, but it would still break up this roominess going on in this dress and give you a little bit more of a defined waistline. So if you don't already have these kind of dresses in your closet, keep this in mind when you go shopping for them in the future. Take a look for things that either already have a tapered waistline, it's like a fit and flare, because those give you a little bit more definition at the waistline, or look for something maybe with a belt or something that you can use a belt you have at home to define the waistline. So let's talk about this dress. It's a perfectly fine dress, but look at how it looks on me when there's no definition at all at the waistline. Luckily, this dress came with an automatic belt. Look at how much better it looks when we tie it. You just took this dress from frumpy to trendy looking. Here is another perfect type of dress that takes the frump factor right out of your wardrobe. I just love a fit and flare dress because for me, my hips are a little bit bigger. And so I like this kind of dress that has a natural tapering at the waistline, but goes out a little bit more to allow a little more space for my hips. 
So when you're out there looking for dresses in the future, take a look at a fit and flare dress and see how it looks on you. Now, if you're a little self-conscious about arms or your tummy and this kind of dress, Throwing on a lightweight cardigan is a perfect idea. I love to look for a cardigan that ties in the front. It naturally comes down to points and I take those and tie them all the time. Why I like that so much is because it creates a waistline, but still kind of covers the tummy area and creates that distraction at the same time. Something I absolutely love about this cardigan, it's magical you can tie it at different lengths so you can put it really low so it's almost the tie is almost at your hip your main stomach area you can tie it a little bit higher to give that waistline a little definition and have the front kind of dangle in front of your tummy area or you can bring the sucker way up high tie it right underneath your bust line. That way there's a little bit more draping so that it doesn't accent that tummy area so much. Another great idea, I totally love this, is wearing some kind of jean jacket. It will give you a little more definition at your waistline as well. Now, in the summertime, if you're down in the south, it's just blazing heat. You're probably not gonna do this unless you're going somewhere that they're blasting the air conditioning, okay? And you might need a layering piece at that point. Enough talking about dresses. Now let's move on to the tops that are making you look frumpy. And what can we do to fix it? Here is our first top example. Now, it doesn't look bad, right? But it's doing nothing for our waistline. And in my opinion, it's making us look frumpy. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, I have a perfect solution to bring in that waistline and make it look even better. If you've been watching my channel at all, you've seen me talk about this before. So back in the 80s, do you remember those round hoop things that you would stick your shirt through at the bottom? Well, I have not seen those in years. And in fact, I wish I would have kept one of those because I'd be using it a lot about now. But what I did find that's making a huge difference are these bra clips. These are the little thingamabobs that bring your bra straps to a T in the back when you're wearing a racer back top. It's little, but it does a great job, let me tell you. You can get these on Amazon, you can get them at Walmart. They come in packs of three or more even. Now, make sure you find one that's got this middle area here. Whether it's got the break in the center or not really doesn't matter. So what you wanna do with this little gadget is take a corner of your t-shirt, the bottom hem, stick it through one part of that little loop, okay? Going from back to front. Pull it really tight. And then the leftover, you wanna put back through the loop and just like that, it holds your shirt in place. It gives you a little bit more of a defined waistline. To me, it takes a look from looking a bit frumpy-ish to trendy, all with one little gadget. Now, the beautiful thing is it stays. I don't have to monkey with trying to tuck it in a pocket and retuck it every time it comes out or tucking my whole shirt in and just kind of fluffing it out a bit. For me, I just don't like that look. So. I would rather do something like this. It makes it look a little bit more trendy in my opinion, and it'll stay that way until I take it out of there. Now let's try this with one more t-shirt that's a little bit more boxy looking, even though it's a right size for me. Now this t-shirt is one of my favorites. I bought it on Zulily, and in fact, if you've seen anything on me today that you like for yourself and you wanna check out anything I can still find links for online, I'll put it down in my description box for you. So, okay, this t-shirt and my black skirt, it looks all right, but you know what? It still, to me, looks a little bit frumpy because it's, there's just so much room in this t-shirt even though it's the right size for me. So again, we're gonna get rid of that frump factor by using that one little gadget. And here we go. We just transformed ourselves from frumpy to trendy. All you need is some kind of belt, a little bra clip, and either a jean jacket or a cardigan that you can tie in the front. These three little things are gonna be your best friends and will help you to take the front factor out of your wardrobe. Are you in need of some style inspiration, some, some new ideas to wear with your white jeans this summer? If you missed it, watch this video next here. 
It's gonna give you some great ideas to refresh what you're wearing with your white jeans. Until next time, my friends, stay beautiful on the inside and out.